It's time to pick our random winner for generation three air phones. Hang on, let me go grab them actually. It's time to pick our winner. I found this random YouTube comment picker. So we're gonna try it out for this. So let me copy the link for my video and post it in here. Oh yeah, filter duplicate users. Um, okay, get YouTube comments. Everything else looks pretty good. All right, and now start raffle and pick random winner. Okay, uh, upside down pineapple cake. I have made them before and I do really like them. You win then. You win the random raffle drawing. So these are going to be yours whenever they arrive at your place. Um, yeah. Wow. How fun was that? Thank you guys for playing along with this giveaway. Um, I promise you there will be more in the future. The more likes, comments, subscribes that I get, the more giveaways I can do. And I had a lot of fun doing this one. So I really, really hope you guys continue to support me and share my channel with your friends and family and whoever you'd like to share them with. Your dog, that'd be nice too. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go make a pineapple upside down cake now. Just for you, Cypher. So, I thought since it is the holiday season, I would kind of put my own little twist to pineapple upside down. It's usually a pretty simple cake, but I thought I would spice it a little bit because that goes with the holiday spirit. So, we're doing a spiced pineapple upside down cake. Perfect for Christmas and the winter time. Okay, first things first, we have to preheat the oven. So I preheated to 350. And now we need to go ahead and melt the butter. I'm just gonna microwave it. You just need a fourth cup of butter. Okay, I have my melted butter here. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a half cup of brown sugar. So let's take our nine inch pan, a nine inch round, and I'm just gonna grease it before putting in the mixture I just made. Pineapple upside down sounds like it'll be really complicated because it's an upside down cake, but um, you just have to put like the toppings on the bottom and then you put the batter on top and bake it and then you flip it over and it's done. So it's actually pretty easy to make. Once your pan's sufficiently greased, go ahead and pour the brown sugar butter into the pan and coat the bottom of it evenly. Perfect. So next we're gonna take pineapple rings and place them around the bottom of the pan on top of the brown sugar butter. If I can get this can open. Be careful to not lose any of the pineapple juice in here though because we're gonna need that for the cake. So now we take our Marschino cherries and place them in the little holes, like in the center of the pineapple rings or really wherever you'd like. Oh, 
Oops. Ta-da! Now we can just set this aside for a bit while we make the cake batter. So the first thing we're gonna do is take three tablespoons of oil. Just three tablespoons. Three fourths cups of just regular white sugar. and cream them together. Make sure to keep scraping down the sides so we're getting a good even mixture. Okay, once that's moistened a little bit, we can add our egg. Just one egg. Half a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons baking powder, and one teaspoon vanilla. Get that all clean. We're also gonna go ahead and add a fourth cup of sour cream full fat. In another bowl, I'm sifting together the flour, one and three fourth cup of flour. And then for the spices, I have cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. I'm just, I've never made it like this before, so I'm just gonna try to add a little bit of both. I'm just doing half, or a little bit of all four, I should say, and I'm doing half a teaspoon of each of them. Just whisk that all together. Just gonna add the flour and the milk gradually into the wet ingredients, just like on stir. Scrape the sides. And lastly, the pineapple juice from the can, we're gonna add a fourth cup of that. Done. So now we're just gonna bring back our pan with our arrangement from earlier and we're gonna carefully pour the batter over the um, placement. Try not to disturb the rest of the you know items already in here, the brown sugar, the pineapples, the cherries. We don't want them to like move around too much because when we flip it over after it's done baking, we want it to look like this. So try to be careful when you pour the batter over. Perfect. Into the oven for 45 minutes. Oh, it's gonna take some time. Oh, there we go. Okay. 40, oh no. 45 minutes. Start. Okay. Fun fact the first cake when I was a kid and my mom and I would bake together. She's the one who got me into baking. But um, the first cake we made was, I believe a pineapple upside down cake because she loved making them and she taught me how to make that. And that's where my baking obsession started. Fun fact. Clean up your station. It's ready. Yeah, I think, I think it's good. I'm gonna just take it out and let it cool for like 10 minutes. 
Oh, yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Uh oh. Some of my uh, brown sugar butter mixture kind of gushed out from the sides and landed on the bottom of my oven. Look. If anyone has tips for cleaning that, please let me know. Okay, our cake has cooled for about 10 minutes. I do have a little bit of a mountain on top, if you can see. So I'm going to level it because if I flip it over like this, it's probably gonna crack in the middle and I really don't want that. So I'm gonna just cut off this top layer just so it's all level and then we're gonna flip. Just a little bit. We're just going to shave it right off the top. Okay. Boy, moment of truth. pretty good it smells really great um you know the main thing is the taste and I threw in all those random spices so hopefully it tastes good but it looks like a good pineapple upside down cake wow I'm really excited about this holiday cake I made I haven't made a pineapple upside down in a long time so Okay, well that is the end of the recipe. I'm gonna let you guys know all the measurements, ingredients, and all of that in the description below and give you the directions on how to make this cake. I will be contacting the winner in the comment section of the other cake video that I made with the giveaway actually in it. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys on Wednesday.